Hello, my name is Katie Hutchison and I am the archivist here at Walsh University. And today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Walsh University archives. So actually what's right behind me are the catalogs. Um, you know, of course these started in 1960 when the university opened um, through today. They contain the list of classes, the requirements for majors, school rules, that sort of thing. And interesting fact in the 1960 catalog, when we first opened, we only had four majors. So Walsh has changed quite a bit. All right, so down below, uh, right here, we have yearbooks. The yearbooks started in 1964 with the first graduating class and continued pretty regularly until 1995. And since then, it's been kind of hit or miss. You can view the yearbooks if you want. They're a lot of fun. We have them digitized on the Walsh University Archives webpage, as well as having copies that are available for you to browse downstairs uh, into the podium near the circulation desk. So ask if you're not sure where that is. All right, so as we move along, I also have quite a few DVDs here in the archives. The DVDs are video recordings of university events, major speakers like Mother Teresa, commencements, that sort of thing. All right, as we continue, I have boxes of important information that maybe just doesn't get used very often, like accreditation papers. Back here, I have blueprints for some of the university buildings. All right, as we continue. All right, now behind me, you'll see some really old looking books. These are our special collections items. So special collections tend to be really rare books or maybe a book that's uh, important to have or, or special for a certain reason. And now it's a little delicate, so we don't want that circulating. So uh, we have quite a few of those here and they are kept up here in the archives just to make sure that they're safe. The oldest item we have in our special collections is actually this little book here. It is a catechism uh, in the French language, and it is actually from 1701. We are one of the few universities that has a copy. All right, up above those, we have the Spectators. So the Spectators started in 1961. Uh, they started um, with a budget of $100, uh, and initially, to make money, they had students pay 50 cents if they were written about in an article um, the 50 cents would go to making their names bold. So that's just a little fun Welsh fact for you. We don't do that anymore. All right, I'm gonna turn. We're gonna start going down the other side of the archives. Behind me now are boxes of photographs. A lot of these photographs come to us from the yearbooks, to be honest, um, but not always. Uh, going back, of course, again, to about 19, 60 when the university opened and they are arranged chronologically and then by subject so if you ever are in the need of a picture of athletes from the 1990s or students uh, eating in the cafeteria from the 60s anything like that come to the Walsh University archives all right so behind me now are press releases. This is the information that Walsh sent out to various news sources for print. These are also digitized. Okay. These are very large scrapbooks. They are full of newspaper clippings going back actually to 1958 when the brothers first purchased the land that became Walsh. Uh, they're really interesting, however, newspaper is actually very acidic, so what we've done, and you can probably see it, um, is we've interleaved all of these pages with um, what's called buffer paper. Uh, it's kind of like tissue paper, and that's going to stop that acid migration. We've also photographed every single one of these pages, so it makes kind of a nice timeline of Walsh history. Uh, in regards to newspaper articles from the local newspapers. All right. 
Here we come to uh, the papers of the Walsh University presidents. Every president has at least one box. Some have several. These boxes can contain anything related to that president, uh, major projects that they worked on uh, while uh, here at Walsh, photographs, materials related to their lives, memos, letters, that sort of thing. I've already started one for Dr. Collins. Okay. All right, so down here, um, I have several boxes of Walsh memorabilia. I'm going to be making some more videos about some of my favorite pieces of Walsh memorabilia that we have. So stay tuned for those. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you know, things like a uh, letterman's jacket, materials that um, stuck around after an Oktoberfest so that, was that was in the 1980s. So stay tuned for those videos. And that was our quick archives tour. If you would like to take an archives tour in person, you know, reach out to the library and we'll get that set up for you. Otherwise, have a fabulous day.